Hello, wonderful person. This is Anton. Welcome to a kind of a promotion slash review of a new version of Space Engine. That's right, version 0.9.8.0. This is a completely updated sort of a Space Engine engine, uh, pardon the pun. And we're going to take a look at some of the really cool things that have been added, including the incredible uh, new or newly simulated life on certain planets. And I hope that's the planet that I've just discovered. Let's find out. And welcome to What the Math. Now, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you really should because there's going to be so many more space videos coming in the future. But anyway, so let's take a look at this. Uh, some of the things in the new version of Space Engine are basically related to, uh, well, first of all, there's a lot of bugs that have been removed, which is great. Uh, but also just performance in general. Performance have generally been improved. And uh, interestingly, there is a new sort of addition of, I think it's called alien vegetation. I think it's that's what it's called. I hope that's where I am right now because I, I was looking for a planet that has life on it. Let's actually stop time. It's going a little bit too fast. Uh, so this is one of those planets. Uh, or is it a planet? I don't know. I think it's a planet. Or possibly a moon. Moon of something. Uh, but uh, this definitely has life. If you click on it, it says... No, wait. If you click on it, it says exotic unicellular marine and terrestrial life. Let's see if we can find something. Now, this is really exciting. Uh, I may have not actually found it. And if you do discover um, an object that has life, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, but uh, this definitely has some sort of life. So let's see if we can actually see it on the surface. And also, I'm not even sure if it's visible. So that's one of the additions, uh, really cool additions. And as you can see, this planet is absolutely gorgeous. I'm actually going to possibly take a look at it even more later because this is one of the more beautiful planets I've seen so far. Um, all right, so it looks like uh, nothing here. Nothing. Oh, are you life? This looks like life. Are you life? Are you, are you life? Pink thing? I think that's life. Let's assume that this is life. Uh, all right, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to find because actually it's unicellular. So maybe it's not actual plants, but I do believe that they have introduced vegetation, which is pretty awesome. So that's one of the first additions. Uh, second edition, uh, there is a lot of new textures, a lot of new beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, as you can see, environments that have been added. And they've also reworked um, some of the major objects like black holes, um, neutron stars, and uh, white dwarfs. Now, we're actually not very far from Sagittarius A. Sagittarius A is the supermassive black hole in the center of our galaxy. And do you think I can find it from here? Absolutely. It's right there. <laughs> That's right. We're very close to it. This is actually a planet with life not very far away from Sagittarius A, which I'm going toward uh, right now. Very, very close. Only a few light years away. So this right here is Sagittarius A. I know that because there's just a lot of stars around it. And if I accelerate time, you'll, you'll see them orbiting around. Or not. Okay, I think yeah, I actually have to I have to load this system first before they start moving around. Uh, yeah, let's slow this down again. And let's go to the Sagittarius, which is right here somewhere. Where are you? I know you're right there, but where are you? Come on, Sagittarius. Show yourself. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, can I go to you? Can I oh, no, 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 no. This is the opposite of what I wanted. I wanted the opposite of that. Let's try this again. There we go. Now, I think if I actually accelerate time now, they'll start orbiting. Yeah, maybe? Okay, there we go. Look at that. Awesome. So, uh, the uh, black holes and neutron stars have also been updated. Um, they look a lot more beautiful than they used to. And they also have a lot more uh, effects. As you can see, there's a lot of shiny effects. A lot of really cool uh, photorealistic effects, which you can kind of see right now. There's a lot of god rays and so on. Um, and uh, by itself, Black Hole actually looks a lot more amazing as well. So if I actually approach it, you'll see that it has really, really sort of beautiful shine around it. Um, so this is kind of a, a pretty awesome improvement. If you if you remember, only a year ago, these were just like literally black holes. But now you have these really cool effects that are very realistic. You can even see the um, the jet stream particles sort of, not really particles, but the jet streams coming out of from both sides. And they're sort of reverberating and changing in size because, because of the amount of stuff that is being sucked into the black hole. Uh, so this is pretty awesome. Uh, obviously, neutron stars and uh, white dwarfs have also been reworked, and they do look amazing as well. Um, but one of the coolest additions, and I'm going to show it to you right now, is actually something I'm going to talk about in one of the next videos. It is a planimo. 
A uh, planemo stands for planetary mass object. Now, all of these, I believe, are planemos. Oh, no, they're not. Sorry. I was looking for a life. This is a life. This is not a planemo. They are found by using the search thingy right here. And if I click on it, I will right away discover at least one or two. There's actually quite a lot of them. Let's just stop. Oh, as you can see, the search uh, box has also been reworked. It used to just kind of freeze when you press the search bar, but now it actually, um, it actually shows you the, uh, um, the findings as, as you find them in real time, which is pretty awesome. So let's go check this one out. Now, Planemo is basically a very, very dark object, a planet-like object, not particularly exciting. This one is a little bit more exciting because it has very dark rings around it. But uh, yeah, basically that's it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, not very exciting, of course. And uh, it may actually have some moons around it. Some of them do, some of them don't. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, this is really, really awesome because these are objects you cannot see. I mean, they're so dark and there's so many of them out there that you just can't see them. But you'll, you're going to find out more about them in one of the future videos. Uh, but uh, the other thing that has been reworked and added here is the actual spaceships. Uh, well, they haven't really added new spaceships, but they have reworked them a little bit. And basically, when you actually make a new spaceship here by clicking the build button, which of course you can do very easily in this game, um, I think there's like new effects that have been added. Uh, that's what at least it says on the on the update page. But let's find out. So we're going to go here. We're going to take control of the ship. And where are you? There you are. Okay, so there's some engine effects, looks like. Yeah. And uh, it seems like, or at least um, the page mentioned that there might be some sound effects that have been added. But I don't really hear anything. I do see the effects, though. The engines are definitely moving. Um, and from what I understand, there's also various um, visual effects when, when you actually start your warp drive, which you can totally explore by yourself because it's pretty much the same as just warping anywhere in space using just a regular right mouse button. And well, anyway, so what else has been added? Well, uh, let me just show you one of the more recent additions that I was kind of um, disappointed by. I've recently made a video about Maki Maki and I talked about how you know, the moon of Makemake is not actually there. And then, just like that, it just so happens they, they have decided to, uh, they've decided to add moon of Makemake literally a week or two after I made the video, which is awesome, actually. I totally appreciate that they actually added it. But I was, uh, I think I was a little bit too early in making the video about uh, Makemake because uh, there it is. There's the moon. There it is. Awesome, right? Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and there's actually quite a lot of new objects that have been added. The um, the actual catalog, which you access by pressing this button, has been dramatically improved. It's it's huge now. It's even more big than it used to be. And it has a tremendous amount of different new things and new stars, new planets, um, new discoveries, and uh, some really, really cool galaxies as well. So there's definitely quite a lot of things to explore now. Now, on top of all of this, there has actually been a major reworking of carbon stars. Now. I haven't really talked about carbon stars just yet, but I will in one of the future videos. But here, uh, check this out. It's a zirconium star binary. There's a, even something called zirconium stars now. Um, this is just a white main sequence star, and I believe this right here is the zirconium star. And basically, this is one of the major additions on top of all of the other additions that I've talked about. And this is actually pretty awesome. Check this out. Whoa, there's even a planet here right next to uh, the actual star. I kind of wonder how it orbits. This is a completely random discovery. Completely by accident. And look at how close it orbits to that zirconium star. This is pretty impressive. The temperature on that star is 1200 degrees. It's very, very hot. And so, yeah, so overall, all in all, Space Engine, as a free game, is getting better and better and better basically with every update. I cannot believe that this is absolutely free and I hope it stays free, but if you actually want to donate, I'm posting the link for this game in the description below, so go and donate because the person making this uh, will definitely appreciate your little donation and I think he deserves it. Anyway, so basically that's it. That's all I wanted to mention. The update is out. Go download it, go get it, and uh, check out some of the other Space Engine videos I've made previously. In the next video, we're going to talk about uh, possibly planemos or one of the other th topics I mentioned in this video. And you're going to learn something else about space, science, and possibly we might even play a video game. What is orbiting so fast around me? What is that? Is there actually a moon around this planet? Oh yeah, there is a moon and it orbits ridiculously fast. 
anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate all of your support. Uh, subscribe if you still haven't. Share this video if you actually enjoyed it and you want uh, to share this with someone who enjoys videos similar to this. And also, don't forget to like this if you've actually enjoyed watching it. I'll see you next video. Game you later. And as always, bye-bye. Oh, and hey, would you like to support me on Patreon? Because that would possibly help me buy a new microphone and possibly a better video camera so I can actually show my face to you because I'm very embarrassed to show you my face with my camera currently. Well, you know what? You can always help me with Patreon because it does help a little bit. And those of you who already helped, thank you so much. It's super, super awesome of you to uh, actually consider supporting me there as well. And anyway, this is actually really beautiful. Check this out. I'm so shocked I found this completely by accident. We need to explore the system in more detail. Alright, anyway, bye-bye.